Okay guys, today I'm going to do a review on three uh, metal detecting pin pointers and we're going to do a bunch of little tests and uh, we're going to go over some things like build quality and depth and warranty and things like that and um, we're going to show you here the new pin pointer on the market from Detechnix it's the X pointer and um, it's uh, surprisingly uh, built well and does a good job. Next we'll have the Garrett Pro Pointer which pretty much all pin pointers are you know um, based off of anymore. Uh, this was quite revolutionary when it came out. Self-tuning, simple to use, rugged. Then we have the uh, White's TRX, and uh, it's relatively new on the market. It works well. There's uh, pros and cons to uh, all these pin pointers, and so uh, we're going to go over them all. This is just my opinions, and, and yours may be different, but uh, I know the first thing everybody wants to know is depth. So uh, we'll turn the uh, X pointer on, just a simple button here, and I'm not going to use a bunch of targets, I'm just going to use a US nickel and a US glad quarter. I could do 10 targets, but I don't think it's going to matter. So we're going to do with a quarter first. Okay, we're about inch and three quarter. And we're going to do the nickel. That'd be about a, you know, well, it's just, it's just uh, shy of two inches. All right. I will mention that the this pin pointer has four sensitivity adjustments and it's on its highest. Um, so let's get the uh, pro pointer. Go with the nickel. The nickel is about a little better than an inch and three quarters. And the clad quarter. It's about uh, an inch and three eighths. Let's go to the TRX, and the TRX has uh, four sensitivity adjustments, and it's on its highest. I thought that was the only fair way of, of uh, putting them head to head, is having them all on their highest setting. Of course, the uh, Garrett has only one setting, so it's at its highest when you turn it on. The TRX, although it has four settings, most people use two or three, three most of the time because four is so unstable and so we're going to try to get that to work here and uh, we'll see what we have. See it's already unstable right now. That's the problem with this one at its highest setting. Okay, it's already going off, so I'm going to detune it. 
See if it stays detuned. See, it's it's unstable, so it's we're not going to get a good test. So, so I'm going to I've got to put this down on three. So we're going to get four beats here. And then we're going to come around to the number one setting, number two setting number three setting will release. Let's see if it's stable now. A lot more stable. As you can see it gets a nickel at about four inches. Or a nickel rather. We'll go with a quarter. about three and three quarter inches. So it's obvious which pinpointer has the most depth, but having the most depth, depth comes at a price and we'll go over that a little bit later. So um, we just get that over with. So um, you can see the X pointer is probably on average a quarter to three eighths of an inch. Sometimes on uh, I can get about three quarters of an inch difference. But you can see the X pointer is has got more depth than the Pro pointer. Of course, the TRX has more depth than both of them combined, really. Um, but like I said, uh, it comes at a price. So uh, let's go over some things here. I've got a little sheet here, and I've already kind of ranked them, and we're gonna we're gonna touch on all these uh, different headings here. So the first one is build quality. Um, the Detechnics X pointer. I mean, this thing is is bulletproof. It's it has a uh, nice cap on it and it comes with a higher grade silicone o-ring and uh, what I always do when I have an o-ring on any of my machines is I'll put a little uh, film of silicone grease and uh, one little tip on where to get it real reasonable is at Lowe's go to the plumbing section and it'll be uh, silicone plumbers grease it comes in a little it'll come in a little tub about this big and uh, it'll have all you need probably for a lifetime and it's like three or four bucks um, the build quality on the Garrett it's good and solid um, nothing wrong with the build quality on that one. The TRX, some people when it first came out thought it was flimsy and stuff, but I can tell you I've used them all. Uh, it's not. It's just as strong as the rest of them. I think what people are feeling is that the uh, finish is more of a slick finish, and that gives you this feeling that it's not heavy. Uh, the Garrett has a little texture to it, or it did. This one's wore off pretty much from use. And the X pointer has a texture to it. Um, so the build quality really on all three of them, I'm going to give it a five. We're ranking from one to five, one being the lowest, of course. Um, so I think we, we'll take this out of the way here kind of go over some things. Camera up here. Nothing scientific here, guys. Uh, the ease of use. They're all pretty easy to use. 
Um, this one's easy to use, the X pointer. Um, you can grab it and, uh, you know, it's just a one button turn on and off. Like that. Garrett, ease of use. Easy. The uh, ease of use on the TRX, I got it a four uh, because the, the only reason because when you turn it off, you have to hold the button down. And that can be annoying. It's, it's just a slight little thing that you have to get used to. These you can just push fast on, push fast off. So uh, it could can be a little inconvenient. Uh, options. The uh, X pointer is has a lot of options to it, and it's got a simple interface here. You got a menu button and an adjustment button, so uh, you can turn it on. And if you want to change the sensitivity, you push this button down, and then you push this one, and it'll go through one beep, two beeps, three beeps, and then a long beep for the highest sensitivity. So we'll go through that. One, two, three, and then the highest. So there you go. It's real easy to figure out, learn. Uh, another another thing about this one is uh, how easy it is to change in the field if you want to go from tone to vibrate to both all you have to do is hit this button now it becomes its menu and adjustment button so that's just it vibrated it's on vibrate only and now it's on vibrate and tone and now it's just tone so uh, what's good about this is if if you like the tone and you're in a park and there's people around you can quickly change it to vibrate without having to worry about holding your finger over the the speaker like you have to do with the Garrett because there's no vibrate only here so sometimes when people are around I'll turn it on then I'll hold my finger over the uh, speaker and then that muffles the sound Um, now the options here on the uh, TRX is just like the X pointer you've got a lot of options here so uh, you have sensitivity and vibrate audio or both and uh, so this menu is a little harder to use um, they don't really go over it too well in the manual. You just kind of look in the internet to try to figure out how to adjust it. But once you get the hang of it, it's not bad. Uh, the Pro Pointer, of course, it gets three um, for options because it really doesn't have any options, which isn't bad not to have any options. That's why it's you know it's a simple it's simple to use. But some people like to have some options, and me included. So I've got here blind use um, you can grab the pro pointer and since it has this little outcropping here to hold the LED light you can just grab it with your eyes closed and and know the right orientation to have it in your hand to turn turn it on you're right there at that button if you pick it up out of your pouch and you feel that then in your mind it flips it or you can just flip it around real quick um, same way with the X pointer you can feel that little boss right there and you know you're right there at the button the TRX however it feels the same both ways I can't tell you how many times I've I picked this up and I've had it this way I guess it would be 50% of the time out of my pouch and I come up here and I push and then there's no button then I know to flip it over it's just kind of annoying because this button here is pretty flush with the case and at one time I put a, a little uh, rubber bumper on there that you would put on a kitchen cabinet and uh, 
so I could pick it up and rub my finger over to tell where the button was, but that didn't last very long. So uh, that's kind of annoying. And also this button is real sensitive. You just barely touch it and it comes on. And so a lot of times when I put it in my pouch, it'll just come on just by just barely touching the side of my pouch. There's not much tactical feel on this button here as opposed to this one and this one. So uh, blind use, I give the, the TRX a three and the uh, X pointer and Pro pointer five. The overall feel of the uh, X pointer, I mean, it, it feels really good. Uh, you got some little finger grips right here. Um, it, I mean, it just feels like a sturdy machine. And so does a Garrett. Um, the overall feel of the uh, TRX, because it's got a slick finish, just doesn't, it just doesn't feel the same. So uh, I gave the TRX a four. Okay, we're gonna uh, go to uh, Lanyard. Um, the X pointer actually comes with this uh, lanyard adapter installed under the uh, cap and it comes with the lanyard so you can uh, hook it to yourself or to your pouch or to your detector and uh, just it also comes with these protective caps that uh, go on the end I'm not going to put them on there because I'm really not into uh, dressing my uh, pin pointers up by putting protective caps on it or a lanyard. I don't like being tethered to anything. It's bad enough with my headphones. Uh, but anyway, if you like a lanyard, it comes with one. And uh, just to FYI, this actually fits the uh, Pro Pointer. So if... if uh, if you didn't like it, you could give it to somebody with a pro pointer and then they could use it. But, uh, and I believe this is about a $10 option if you buy it separate online. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so as far as lanyard goes, this one's uh, fully outfitted if you want it. I personally don't like, like it, so I don't use it. The uh, Whites has a place for a lanyard, which is great, but it doesn't come with a lanyard. So, uh, so we got a uh, 5 for the X-Pointer, a uh, 4 for the TRX, and of course the Garrett doesn't come with any provision for a lanyard. It uh, doesn't mean you can't make one, there's just not one there. So, uh, so on the lanyard it would be a 1 on the Pro, pro Pointer. Okay, let's go to the audio volume. Um, the Pro Pointer is pretty loud. So, uh, pretty loud. And uh, the X Pointer. It's a little louder. And the TRX, it's, it's right in there too. It's got a little, I don't know, the tone is not as full. It's kind of a cheesy kind of tone. Um, but all in all, pretty decent audio volume. I would have to say that the, the TRX audio volume is probably the... Uh, least loud I guess or or the hardest one to hear I would say at least on my ears and then the pro pointer uh, it, it comes up a little better I can hear it a lot better than the TRX and the X pointer is just it just it's just a crisp crisp sound 
So anyway, that's how I rank those. And as far as vibration goes, the uh, vibrating motor, the vibrating motor in the TRX is, it's not very strong. I can, I, you can just, if you have a glove on, it's hard to feel. You can feel it, but it's just not very strong. The uh, Pro Pointers is, uh, is good and strong. Um, and I will say this, that the longer I've used the Pro Pointer, the more that motor has uh, broke in. And I think that uh, probably with all these, the longer you use them, the, the uh, better it'll vibrate. So uh, I know this is vibrating a lot better, a, a lot more intense than uh, when I first got it. And, it's, and I can really tell that that motor is loose. Now, the vibration on, on the uh, X pointer is just as good as a Garrett. And I expect it to loosen up and uh, be even better. But anyway, they're both comparable. Now, as far as we go here, we got side detection coming up. Um, the uh, X pointer has side detection. A lot of people say, "Oh, you don't need side detection." I'll, I'll we got a little experiment in a minute that that I can kind of show you why I like side detection. nothing like I said the depth comes at a cost no side detection there happens to be some detection up here and I'm going to show you where this this will fool you in a hole in a minute um, but anyway what I think they've done is they've shielded the side here to uh, project the field out here more like a flashlight and in doing that, you lose your side protection, side detection. So side detection, of course, the Garrett, Garrett and the uh, X pointer has it. So they get fives. The TRX gets one because it doesn't have it. And let's look at the light. You wouldn't think light would be very important, but uh, actually, if you have a light that works, you can actually see in the hole, and especially when it gets toward dusk. Or, uh, shoot, I even used mine, uh, Pro Pointer one time to uh, put the key in my uh, lock. So, I mean, the light has some merit. Here's the, here's the problem, though. The whites, the whites light is, I mean, you can, you can see it's, it's light right there. And in my opinion, they might as well left it off because it does, it really does nothing. I mean, you can see that it, it does nothing. The Garrett is a little better. You can actually use this light in a hole. It's not the greatest, but it's, it's okay. But the X pointers light it's it's probably three times brighter than the uh, Garrett's and it has a uh, you can see it's very bright it's got one of these surface mount wafers in here that we see on all the high intensity lights nowadays and that's what's in here the uh, Garrett and the TRX has a regular LED and whites has an LED and then they have a lens and that hurts it also the Garrett's is the uh, LED actually sticks through a little bit so that makes it a little better but let me tell you this thing here this will light up a whole room on the uh, X pointer so uh, X pointer gets a 5 the pro pointer gets a two and in all honesty that could have been a three 
Um, so anyway, uh, TRX is a one because they might it, the light's really worthless. Um, and let's say on operating battery options, the Garrett and the uh, X pointer both run on one nine volt battery. The uh, TRX can run on one nine volt battery or two double A batteries, and which is that's really a good option to have. Um, so right there, the TRX gets a five. The Pro Pointer and the X Pointer, I'm giving them each three. Let's see. Uh, let's see the. Uh, the feel of the buttons. The uh, TRX really's got no feel. It doesn't. It, it just uh, kind of, you know, it doesn't even feel like there's a switch in there. I know there is, but um, there's no tactical feel. The Garrett has a. Uh, you can feel the uh, the button right here, and you can. You can push it in. It feels, it feels nice. You don't hear a snap, a snap or anything, um, on the button. So it, but it's, it works really well. The, uh, the X pointer, however, has a a button that actually clicks when you push it. You can't hear it over the machine firing up, but. But it's there. It's got a good tactical feel. It actually feels like that button is real heavy duty. So uh, I like this button the best. I think that's going to last a long time. So uh, we're going to give the X pointer 5, the Pro pointer 4, the TRX 3. Now as far as falsing goes in the hole, uh, we've all kind of abuse these things uh, we we'll cram them in the hole bend it around and push and the Garrett will fall several once in a while and you'll think you're uh, up against the target when you're not the TRX especially at, at setting three and four falls as you can bend it a little bit and it'll false in the hole the uh, X pointer does not false at all now you could probably bend this thing in half and it doesn't false push on it whatever so uh, that's one great thing about this no falsing um, as far as the depth goes of course that we already saw that the TRX beats them on the uh, off the tip depth so it gets a five the pro pointer gets a three the X pointer since it's a better than the uh, pro pointer gets a four the warranties they all get a five on the warranties because they all have a two-year warranty so uh, this one uh, X pointer is warranted right here in the United States of course the Garrett's warrant warranted right here in the United States and so is the uh, TRX so uh, one thing I did add here after I got done was the uh, lost or left on warning. If if you have a whites and you leave it on and you walk away and it's laying out uh, in the field, it's supposed to uh, give you a uh, beep. I think after like five minutes, it's gonna it's gonna start beeping, and then it'll just beep for a certain amount of time, and then it goes off, and then you're done. Uh, however, a lot of these don't work. That option on a lot of these TRXs don't work, and this is one of them. You can leave this thing on all day, and it won't beep. So, uh, But if it was working, it would only beep for a certain amount of time. Uh, so if you don't find it in that amount of time, you don't find it. But it does have an orange cap, which sets it apart. So you, you might be able to see it with that. The Garrett doesn't have any warning that or uh, lost beep or warning that's been left on. 
but the uh, X pointer does. If you leave it on uh, for three minutes, it will beep once every five seconds until the battery goes dead. And this one works, and uh, which is a neat feature. So, uh, which, which is the way they ought to be. This one here only beeps for a certain amount of time. Uh, so, if, if, like I said, if you don't find it in that amount of time, uh, you're not going to find it if you're going by audio. But it, it, it should beep until the battery goes dead, you know. So, uh, X pointer's got it right. So, uh, we got X pointer at, at 5 on that ranking the uh, pro pointer at one because it doesn't have any and the TRX is a three if it's working uh, you know and you happen to find it within those few minutes you'll it works and so uh, I couldn't figure out any way of really uh, coming up with a good way of coming up with a value you know the X pointer is uh, is only ninety dollars, and um, that's the minimum advertised price from the manufacturer is ninety dollars. It's eighty nine ninety nine, so I just rounded it up to ninety bucks. Um, the Garrett Pro pointers map price is one hundred twenty eight dollars. So basically, your street price is $128 on the Pro Pointer, $90 on the X Pointer, and your your map price on the whites is $150. So we got to come up with some way of of figuring up which one's the best value. So the only thing I could come up with, and I'm not a mathematician. Is I added up all the points, and um, you can see here that the uh, map price for the X pointer is ninety dollars, and so I the total the total points on the X pointer for this uh, review was seventy seven, so I I divided that I uh, by ninety. And I came out with a value number of 0.85. So we have the Pro Pointer next. Its points total was 60. And I divided $128 into 60. And it has a value of 0.47. I took the TRX. It had a total point value of 58. I divided the hundred and fifty dollars into that I came out with a value number of point thirty eight so um, you know that the X pointer works actually has as many features and so forth as the TRX but it costs a lot less so there's a lot better value there uh, and then the Garrett comes in between so you could look at these numbers <clears throat> And uh, <clears throat> excuse me, just with this test, you can see that that the uh, the X pointer is twice the value, or more than twice the value of the TRX, and it's almost twice the value of the uh, Pro pointer because of its cost. So um, I I just want to say that I sell all three of these pin pointers, the X pointer, pro pointer, the TRX. Um, I make a lot less money it, when I sell the X pointer as I do say with the TRX and then with the pro pointer. But the best value for my customers is, is the uh, X pointer and that's the one I'm using myself. So the best value here is the X pointer then the uh, next best value is the Pro Pointer and then uh, bringing up the rear the TRX so uh, and you wonder how can the TRX be bringing up the rear when it detects 
at twice the depth. Well, it's all these other things that uh, that kind of nag you about it, and they they just all that kind of add up. Um, I think uh, I think White's is on the the uh, right path, um, but I I think they fell short on a few things. Um, I think they could they could certainly improve on the TRX and give the rest of the uh, companies a run for their money. But for me, the TRX is is only good for one thing. Is uh, like if you're coin popping, since since the uh, it doesn't have side detection, but it actually has like a flashlight uh, detection area here. And so, uh, get this up here. So, if, if if you're detecting with your detector and you and you get a hit, you can run this straight up and down. And you can, if it's within about four inches, three to four inches, you can really accurately pinpoint where that coin is or your target. And then if you're, you know, you can either dig a smaller plug or you can uh, pop that out by you know coming in the ground popping that out after that if you dig a hole then this one doesn't work as good and the rest of these work better because we have side detection um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna show you here what I mean. is I've got a just got a, a cup here and it's about four inches in diameter and uh, I just taped a coin to the side and so here's what you get with the, uh, with the TRX is you you turn it on and so you go go down in your hole and you come over here and you can't detect anything on the side you don't know if there's a coin there but here's where everybody gets fooled. You push it down the hole and it starts going off. So you think that there's a, a target down the bottom where it's actually um, hitting off the top of this coil. And I'll show you. There's nothing here, but as you get here, you see nothing in here. So when you put this in a hole and you push it down, you'll get fooled you'll think it's detecting something off the tip and so you'll dig and dig and you'll keep digging and you'll dig farther and there's nothing there and so that gets to be annoying also if there's a if you got a bunch of soil out on the on your drop cloth and you're trying to find you're trying to cover a, a large area quickly with a side you can't do you can't find anything so then you you go like this, and you think you think a coin's down here, but it's actually up here. If you had side detection, it would be going off right now, and you'd know different. So that's why it's annoying once you get the hole opened. With the uh, X pointer and Pro pointer, when you put it in the hole and you come around the side, you can you can you know exactly where it's at. It's on the side, see? And then you pull it up and you, you pinpoint it. The uh, pro pointer is the same way. See, you bring it up and you find it. You can't get fooled. So that's why I'm saying the depth of the TRX comes at a price. If you don't have side detection, you'll get fooled. You'll be looking for signals that are actually at this end as opposed to down here and and uh, you can't find what you're looking for. So uh, if this had side detection, it would make it a lot better. But anyway, that's my uh, review on these three pinpointers and, and why I like the... Uh, the X pointer the best because it has the best value. Uh, it, it, it's deeper than the Garrett. 
it, it's real easy to run um, you know feels sturdy doesn't false I mean this is the one to have so uh, until somebody else comes out with something better uh, I'm going to use this and continue to use it and um, so anyway that's my review you can do your own you might come up with some different numbers but that's how I feel about it so uh, thanks for watching